So good morning, everyone. Thank you uh, for joining us on this beautiful Saturday. I know that uh, it's hard to be inside on a day like today, but we're happy that you're here. Uh, this is our second um, annual Be Prep Patient Forum. I'm Terry King. I'm the uh, chief of the division of breast surgery here at the Brigham and the Farber. And I started the Be Prep program um, about, I guess, almost three years ago now. Um, and so we're um, looking forward to continuing to grow our program and, and improve things and provide the best um, service that we can to you, our, our patients, and your families. So just, uh, you all have a notebook full of hopefully useful information, and the program is in there, but we have uh, composed what we hope is a, a nice uh, program for today. This is a multidisciplinary um, program between medical oncologists and clinical genetics geneticist at Dana-Farber, and so two of my colleagues from Dana-Farber will be joining us today uh, as part of the program. Um, we also have a wonderful um, breast imager, radiologist from the Mass General, uh, Dr. Lehman, who just walked in outside. Um, one of our very first patients in the program, Mel, will share her story with us. Um, and so we hope that this will be um, some nice content for you to uh, learn from and ask us questions and, and get some good feedback. So I just want to start with uh, telling you a little bit about where BPREP lives. So BPREP lives in the Comprehensive Breast Health Center, which is the breast clinic uh, at the Brigham. And we see all kinds of patients in the Comprehensive Breast Health Center. So we see patients that come in with nonspecific breast complaints. They might have a, feel a lump but have a normal mammogram. They might have breast pain. They might have had a biopsy that's not cancer. Um, all of those types of patients we evaluate in the Comprehensive Breast Health Center. And then on top of that, we have our risk program there. So women who have had a biopsy maybe that shows that they have a marker of increased risk, which I'll talk about a little bit later today. Women who have a family history of breast cancer who want to learn about their, uh, their risk and options for reducing risk. Women who have dense breasts and want to learn more about that. And then, of course, we run some clinical trials focused on prevention out of the Comprehensive Breast Health Center. So the Breast Health Center is our, our, our home, our clinic, and the B-PREP program lives there. So this is how it works. Everybody that comes in to the breast clinic, um, again, no matter what the reason, all the different bubbles in the jar there, everybody takes the same uh, intake survey on a laptop where we collect information from you about your personal history, your family history, your uh, lifestyle, some of your behaviors. And then the laptop program actually assesses your individual breast cancer risk. And we use that in counseling and in talking to you right then during that visit uh, to help identify if you are at increased risk and what those factors are. <coughs> if you came in with a specific complaint, breast pain or a lump, of course, we want to evaluate that and make sure that there's no nothing to be concerned about. And if everything looks good, if there's no concern and you're not at increased risk, then we want to reassure you and, and send you back to your regular doctors for your routine breast health. But if we do identify you to be at increased risk, then we, of course, want to invite you to stay in our program and continue to help us learn about breast cancer risk while we continue to um, hopefully provide resources for you. So again, it's a multidisciplinary uh, collaboration. We have lots of different providers and, and supporting providers uh, in the program. Again, I mentioned medical oncologists and clinical geneticists from Dana-Farber. We have a primary care physician who's interested in breast health, a couple of surgeons. Um, we couldn't do any of this without our senior PA, Mary Beth, and our senior NP, Mary, who many of you have met and are out here with us this morning. Um, our social worker, Eileen Joyce, is also here to provide support. And of course, we have our, our research staff and our clinical staff. So our goal is really to provide uh, high quality clinical care to serve and educate women who may be at increased risk but are unaware, to provide a clinical resource home for patients and providers seeking risk assessment, education and counseling, and to provide ongoing follow-up and risk-tailored surveillance strategies for those who are at increased risk. And then, of course, we want to continue to learn, so we do have our research program. Some of you may have been asked to uh, to sign a consent form to allow us to collect your tissue or blood. We're trying to establish a, a biobank of materials from women at increased risk. And then we are offering and participating in several clinical trials, some of which you'll hear about later this morning. 